Oh, oh shit, I've been recording this whole time. <laughs> Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a mix and array of different things. Um, it's really weird for me to even like film this because it's just, it just is. Um, I am all over the place right now because my pre-workout is about to start kicking in. Granted, I'm not working out today necessarily, but I still like to take it because of the ingredients that are in it. It's supposed to still help me kind of stay on track in terms of my weight loss so that I don't gain too much or whatnot. But... Anyway, so today I'm going to get ready and I'm going to talk to you guys and this is also going to kind of be a first impression on the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. So I've yet to dip into this bad boy and I figured now would be the perfect time to do so. So yes, let us just continue. I'm going to put my music up a little bit because I want to hear some tunes. If a damn song would play. Oh. Maybe that's too loud, but I love this song. Um, anyway, so I'm going to first start off by priming my face as soon as I can find my primer. Alright, so I'm going to use the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Primer because I feel like my skin is super dry right now. And it could use a little extra moisture. I'm trying to do as little editing as possible for this video, so you're going to see me get ready, uh, hopefully, really quickly. I'm not going to do a whole lot to my eyes, but yeah, I think I'm just going to go for a bold lip today and see what's up. When you <laughs> okay, now that that's on, let me actually get my hair out of the way. But what I wanted to rant about, well now I'm going to do my brows first, and as I'm doing that I'm going to rant to you guys. But this rant is about the situation I'm currently in, which is the hair coloring situation. I'm watching these videos, oh, okay I can't listen to music and talk, but I'm watching these videos, please ignore this, let's try to say that one more time. So I'm trying to watch these videos just to see what other people are kind of doing to remove their hair color. Not so much because I don't know what I'm doing, but it's just, it gets me excited for what I have to do. This stuff is so much creamier than the pomade, the Anastasia pomade, BT dubs. OMG. I'm excited. But, um, yeah. So I was watching a video or it popped up on my thing of like, oh, well, we recommend you watch this, which is hella annoying because half the time it's shit that I don't really want to watch. It's like people you may know on Facebook. I might know them, but if we're not friends by now, then there's a fucking reason for that. But, um, yeah, so this girl was like doing a review or her three minutes of babble bullshit on this L'Oreal color remover that I talked about a couple of years ago. And she was like, it does work. I promise you guys it does work. I don't have any pictures to vouch for what I'm saying, but you guys know I'm going to tell you the truth and blah, blah, blah. And then she, I've tried this product and it's fucking, it's bleach. It's bleach in a box that they sell at Target. Um, so she was like, I don't think this is as damaging to your hair, but it gets really hot. The second you put it on your hair, it's hot. It doesn't burn you, but it's hot. It's not like, I know it does damage your hair a little bit, but not like bleach damage. Dude, it is bleach. So yes, it is bleach damage. Number one. Number two, it gets hot because that's what bleach does. It gets hot. It heats up and activates. And it pulls the shit out of the color and moisture and every damn breath of life that your hair has. So it just, it upset me because, like, if you're going to talk about a product and you're going to make these claims, know what the hell you're talking about and make sure you have all your facts. Because someone who will have fragile as fuck hair 
will probably take your word for it that it's not bleach. And as soon as they put that shit on their hair and their hair shaft just snaps, they're going to have a conniption and it's going to be your fault. Which is why the only thing I feel like I don't have knowledge in are fitness things. Um, well, not complete knowledge. Like I know what some stuff does or whatever it is that I'm taking, what I've spent my money on, what that stuff does. But when it comes down to hair, like I'm, it's not even because I went to cosmetology school because I knew what the hell I was talking about way before that. I've been doing hair since I was eight. Um, and doing other people's hair since I was probably like, I don't know, I want to say 10 or 11. And so, I mean, I have pretty damn good experience with hair, so I know what I'm talking about. But it just, it really bothers me when people don't know what they're talking about and they're trying to tell people that they need to go get this, that, and the third. It's like, but no, they really don't. You actually need to get your shit together and check your facts, girl. And I was going to be an asshole and actually tell her, like, but it's bleach. So what are you talking about? But it was a video from two years ago. I'm a person who's just like, if it's really that old, like, it's super irrelevant. Like, I hate when people comment on my old videos and they talk shit or whatever the case is. And it's just like, move on with your life, please. So I was like, whatever. And then... The idea popped in my head to rant as I get ready and then to use this pomade as I get ready. So this is happening. These are not exactly the best brows that I've done, but like I said, I'm trying to do as little editing as possible. So they're not that bad. I mean, I guess I'll clean them up. But, whatever. Alright, so I clean them up as much as I possibly could or as much as I really want to right now. And I'm not used to having really light eyebrows like this. But, I mean, it is what it is. But I really do like this pomade. It is really creamy. Um, I don't know. I don't think it claims to be waterproof. So this is where it might be different than the pomade. Um, by Anastasia, but their definite brow gel in a tube is Anastasia's pomade, period. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just set these brows a little bit with something a little darker, and then we can move on to the rest of the face. Alright, so for my face today, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. I actually don't want to really even wear foundation, but I'm gonna, just because... It's in my face and I'm putting it on right now. So that's happening. I don't think there's anything else I really want to rant about necessarily, but um, by the time you guys are seeing this video, I will be taking my written exam for my cosmetology license. Oh my God, which reminds me, it should be like in the mail today which is the 13th, oh, Friday the 13th. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. But I wanna get a tattoo on Friday the 13th. I think I'm gonna go next month because that's the last Friday the 13th until November. And I think I wanna save up for a bigger tattoo for my birthday in November. So getting a mini one would be stupid. But, um, wow. I love how quickly I lose my train of thought. There we go. So I will be taking, in about two weeks, my written exam and I'm nervous so actually today I tried it yesterday to study and I took my school book that I had duh from school and it had like <clears throat> practice tests in it and everything like that and there was one that was a final so I was attempting to study that but then my sister came over and I just lost all train of thought and I was like screw it this thing is weeks away I'll cram closer to it which is never really a good thing in life to cram because it's just not productive granted that's how I got through high school but I had a 1.2 GPA because I was just always really really high for senior year and going through so much stuff but yeah oh 
I just, I love my Pro Longwear. It is da bomb. So for the sake of this video being like 60 minutes long, I'm gonna just put on my concealer, do my eyeliner, and then put on my lips and I'll come back and I'll talk to you guys real quick. Alright guys, so the rest of my face is on. I attempted to brush up my hair, but it's doing some old lady thing, so I just put it behind my ears like I'm in the 90s again. Um, but yes, for my eyeliner, I use the Sephora Rio Nights Waterproof Gel Liner with my NYX B22 Angled Flat Brush. Flat Angled? No, it can't be flat and angled. The angled brush that I mentioned a while ago. Um, my lips I have on Max Cork Liner with Viva Glam Rihanna 2 and in the corners and then just mixed throughout the rest of the lip I added a little bit of black cherry from Milani and I think it's pretty dope and for my blush I use this wet n wild berry shimmer I never do like darker blushes I usually just stick to Melba blush from MAC um, and then the blushes that are in the elf palette because they're pretty neutral and s similar to each other so I'm more comfortable there but um I think I need a little bit of extra blending with this blush. I know I did put on too much, but it is what it is. And my highlight is from NYX. It's the Illuminator in Narcissistic. And I just, I die for this. I have three of them. They do have two more colors, I think, that I actually want to go out and get. But that's going to have to wait until I get me a job. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me and my little rant in the beginning. I just really needed a video to put out for today, so I'm sorry if this is not the best quality, but I have some pretty good stuff coming up in the coming weeks, and I'm excited for it. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on all of my social media, which will be linked down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And once again, the products that I use on my face will be listed down below as well as previous videos. So, like I said, like 10,000 times, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.